one of my earliest memories from childhood is crying to my mom i don't want to go to school little did i know that by the time i was graduating college i would be crying i don't want to go home i graduated with an engineering degree from nit varangal and i had such an amazing college experience that i never wanted to leave coincidentally it was also during my college that something happened which had a lasting impact on my life and its purpose back in my junior year or third year as we call it in india some of my classmates were being forced to drop out because their families couldn't afford the tuition fee anymore this obviously would have been a disaster for them and it didn't make any sense to me so a couple of friends and i we came up with a simple idea we have over 30000 alumni that have graduated from this college and most of them are already doing well so can we reach out and ask them to help and so we did after months of calling and emailing as fundraisers we found a few alumni who donated money for scholarships for these students so we averted the disaster and none of those classmates dropped out there is a popular saying until we get equality in education we won't have an equal society education opens doors to opportunities and yet the education system today is far from equitable education has become so expensive that cost becomes one of the biggest factors in deciding which student gets to go to which college and therefore what opportunities and networks they can access for example in the us currently student debt is worth 1.73 trillion dollars an average us student graduates with 38000 dollars in debt and takes about 20 years to repay that imagine how crippling this is 20 years you know who this is michelle obama after graduating law school she started her career as a lawyer and hated it but she continued to do that job for years because she had to pay off her student loans barack obama her husband had once lamented michelle and i were in our 40s when we finished paying off our student debt we should have been saving for our kids by that time raghuram rajan former governor of rbi india central bank almost gave up hopes of pursuing his phd from mit after he was declined the scholarship he then wrote to them i am a poor indian citizen there is no way i can pay for the phd i would really like to come to his pleasant surprise uh, he received a letter from mit a few weeks later saying there is a scholarship program and the institute would like to consider him a stroke of serendipity helped him this is indra nui former ceo of pepsico while she was at yale school of management after paying for college she could barely afford a good dress for her job interviews and to solve that problem she had to take a job as a receptionist from midnight to 5 am while attending classes in the morning why are these stories important these stories just show us how hard it is today to get the education we want the worst part is for every michelle obama raghuram rajan and indra nui there are hundreds that don't receive a scholarship and therefore don't end up going to the college they want to go to this is a huge problem but it doesn't need to be this way if we can fundamentally rethink how education is funded today a majority of education funding comes from the government and government funding is certainly helpful but it has two problems one it isn't sufficient at the moment which is why we have such a crisis and two it hasn't worked equitably you know not everyone receives the same level of support endowments and donations already play a part as well but aren't doing enough at the moment i believe the key to unlocking a better future for education is to look at our alumni for those of you that are not familiar with that word alumni are past students and graduates of a college today an average university has less than 8% alumni donating back to their alma mater imagine if a university could get 50% or even 30% of their alumni donating back these donations can be used not only to provide even more scholarships but also to improve the quality of education through better infrastructure and well paid faculty that's not even the best part when a student is able to get a great education by paying $5000 instead of $50000 because of someone else's generosity they are highly likely to pay it forward once they graduate and start earning this positive reinforcement loop is a wonderful way to make education more affordable and equitable i'm sure you're wondering this sounds great but is this practical 
Can we even do this? Turns out we can. My colleague Matt went to Thomas Aquinas College, which is a private liberal arts college in California that employs a need blind admission system. Essentially, they admit students based on their merit and then find out how much each of the students can afford and then raise the remaining deficit through donations, mostly from alumni. So every student who is eligible to go to Thomas Aquinas gets to go there. This is what enabled Matt to pay $10,000 per year out of his pocket instead of $30,000. Guess what? As a result of that, over 60% of Thomas Aquinas alumni donate to the college every year, 60%. So if you are an administrator at a university and you're thinking, yes, I know this system is broken, but we've been running our institutions for decades, so we're fine. I'll say it's time to rethink before it's too late. Students all over the world are now being drawn towards alternative models like income share agreements, where students learn skills, get jobs, and share their income later instead of paying the fee upfront. I know the number of students pursuing this seems like a drop in the ocean right now, but so does every disruption at the beginning. Universities are at a serious risk of being disrupted away in the next few years if they don't fundamentally rethink access to their walls. Over the last eight years, I've been fortunate to work with hundreds of education institutions globally, helping them become more alumni centered. I dream of a world where every Joanne who wants to become a doctor can become a doctor, irrespective of her family's financial situation. Every Raghu who wants to pursue an MBA can do so without worrying about a 15-year commitment. So if you are an educator or an administrator, please rethink how education is funded at your institution. And if you are an alum, now is the time for you to connect with your alumni community and participate in your alma mater's future. Let's get everyone the education they deserve. Thank you.